Vitamin D deficiency is really common and affects around one in five adults and children in the UK. Now this number gets even higher during the winter months when it's a bit darker. So when it comes to vitamin D deficiency, there are three main things that you need to know about. Firstly, we need to know a bit about vitamin D and how we actually get it inside our bodies. Secondly, we need to understand a little bit about some of the symptoms that can result from a deficiency in vitamin D. And lastly, we need to understand how we go about treating low levels of vitamin D. So we'll cover all of this and more in today's video. Let's dive straight in. Natural vitamin D is produced in the skin when it's exposed to sunlight. So in places with weak sunlight, such as the UK during winter, supplements are usually recommended. Foods like oily fish, egg yolk, red meat and liver contain some vitamin D and certain foods are also fortified with it. Now in the UK, it's advised that everyone over one years of age takes over the counter vitamin D supplements. Usually these contain around 10 micrograms or 400 international units of vitamin D daily from October to March, which basically covers the winter period. Now some groups of patients who are at an increased risk of vitamin D deficiency may need the supplements all year around. Now we'll go into a bit more detail about these people within these groups who are most likely to be deficient in vitamin D later on in today's video. Vitamin D is really important when it comes to bone health as it helps in the healthy development of our bones and teeth. So in kids with severely low levels of vitamin D, they may have soft and weak bones, which may lead to conditions such as bow legs, also known as rickets. And in adults with severely low levels of vitamin D, they may have conditions such as osteoporosis, which increases the risks of having fractures. Now it's important to remember that this only really occurs in severely low levels of vitamin D, and most cases are treated before they ever get this bad. As well as bone health, vitamin D also has an impact on our muscle strength and how the immune system functions, as well as mental health and mood regulation, in addition to maintaining our energy levels. So I hope it's clear to see from what we've discussed so far that vitamin D has so many different functions. This makes sense when we think about all the different symptoms that you may experience when your levels are low. Vitamin D deficiency often leads to vague symptoms such as tiredness and some muscular aches. Certain groups of patients are more likely to become deficient in vitamin D. Now, these include our pregnant or breastfeeding women, young children, the elderly, individuals with limited sunlight exposure, our people who have darker skin tones, and also those with certain medical conditions that affect nutrient absorption, such as Crohn's disease. Vitamin D deficiency is usually diagnosed following a blood test in which patients may present with feeling either really tired all the time or fatigued. Now, in the vast majority of cases, these levels of vitamin D can be corrected simply with over-the-counter supplements. Now, in a very small subset of patients, vitamin D levels may be so low that you might require some high dose and high strength tablets. And this prescription is done with the dose and strength and also the duration, it may vary according to the actual prescriber. So that brings us to the end of today's video in which we've taken a detailed look into vitamin D deficiency. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Until the next time, I'll see you soon.